Good morning, everybody. It's Stephanie Chase. Very early in the morning, I decided to get a video recorded in the morning before my day starts. A few things I want to tell you about. Um, and also, before I get into the Huntington stuff, I want to share it with you guys. Like, I didn't want to tell you guys so that you would be, like, worried or anything. But um, I went through a real... Um, hard time with prayer and I'm not gonna get into all the details of what happened but I lost my faith uh, probably about six months ago and uh, wasn't even praying um, and wasn't going to church and so um, so what happened and so that's why I haven't been praying on my videos or even praying with Juniper when we're talking so I was really hit again I'm not gonna give you the details it's a long story but thankfully I have some amazing ladies um, Megan Cooper Mama Cheryl um, and Patty Blue who are people uh, she's a pastor's wife of a church we went to in San Diego and they were so encouraging and Patty wrote this really long uh, email and I was like I don't want to read this and then I was like God was telling me really read it and she has so many stories of like people who got she thought was healed and then it wasn't anyway so it was what I needed to hear so after uh, their emails I was able to pray again and go to church and this is a cool thing um, there's a vineyard you guys might know I am a vineyard person we I've been going to vineyards since like I was a little kid in Fort Collins I was like the first church my parents went to so um, and uh, so Mike and Donna H Humphreys are friends of ours from San Diego and actually uh, Mike is a subscriber and anyways I guess mom told me there's a church that is just a block away and that's the one I was gonna start going to because the bus doesn't run on Sundays so and everything seems to be really close to where I'm living so okay I'll go to that one and then mom's like did you know Mike and Donna went to a, a vineyard here the Springs Vineyard and it's really close to where you live so I looked it up it's like a mile and a half which I can easily walk to um, so I'm so excited to start going to church again and to find one close I would go to DCC, but it is so far away now. It's like ridiculously far from where, um, yes, I am now. So, but I just felt like finding church close. So that's really cool. So I'm really excited. Okay, so health stuff. I'll give you the medicine update. But first, I want to say something really cool. Uh, oh, worship song is going to be... Uh, you Are Kind by Amanda Cook, and I will pray afterwards this time. Okay, so, uh, so, um, my mom is getting me milk delivery from Royal Crest, and this is amazing because I used to have to go to, like, Walmart. She would get me, like, a gift card to Walmart, Safeway, and I would go get groceries that I needed, and part of that was having to get milk, and it was so hard to lug a gallon of milk, even though the bus stops that I go to are really close still 0.3 miles back from the bus stop and trying to carry groceries you know especially a gallon of milk was really hard so I mom signed me up for the Royal Crest milk delivery and uh, there's a box out front and it was so cool because mom's like because it's actually gonna save us money because I can get yogurt and like string cheese stuff that so I don't need to eat protein bars anymore um, which mom was paying good money because that was the only thing I had to, quick to you know fill up my tummy and that so I don't need to get protein bars anymore and just so I can get milk uh, bread that I use a lot yogurt string cheese um, and so it's just so cool because you put this out and the guy that signed me up or gave me some coupons. So the cool thing was they deliver it like really early in the morning. And I really was out of the bread um, that I had bought at the store before. And it was so cool because I was like, I bet the milk delivery will come before I go for my run tomorrow and I can make my own 
bread and toast, you know, uh, peanut butter and on toast with a little jelly. That's my go-to breakfast before Brian and me. So lo and behold, there was the stuff at three o'clock in the morning yesterday. The bread was on the top and I was like, sweet. So very excited about that. Okay. Also, um, you guys know the watch I had. So, um, apparently the straps come off kind of easily, Jessica said, and she's like, is it broken? Like, or is it just came apart? And I was like, I think it just came apart. But in the, anyways, I lost the other strap somewhere in my room and I can't find it. So now I have to have Jessica, you know, get me a new watch on, um, uh, on the 5th when I go in to get my lumbar puncture or whatever that's called. So, uh, right. And also, okay, medicine update. Um, so, uh, I'm apparently anemic. I, uh, I guess with the restless things and stuff that the Dr. Kumar wanted me to, to uh, yes, uh, start some iron and they, yeah, found out I was really anemic. So, I, um, I'm taking these gummy fibers that mom got me at Costco. They're so yummy. And that, uh, so to help with being stopped up from taking the, uh, yes, iron. Uh, so, but <laughs> I can't have that be the day before I run because, well, you guys know I get the runs. So I got to drink some coffee. And the reason it's over here on my bed and not on my shelf my um, nightstand is because I kept knocking it over off of there and these straws. Thankfully, it doesn't spill very much. These Starbucks cups I got, uh, I've saved a few of these sizes, but anyways, so when it gets knocked off, it doesn't really spill, but I keep breaking the straw, like the straw gets broken. So that's why I have that right there. Also, when I make my smoothies, I used to keep it on my nightstand, but I was like, I knocked it over a few times, so now it's just on the bed next to me, like laying against the bed frame. So anyway, okay. So on iron, yes. Okay, so let's see. Milk delivery, I already talked about. Okay. All right. And I'm so grateful to Mama that she thought of that idea. And so um, it's going to be saving us a lot of money. So, all right. Um, let's see. Yep, I forgot. I did that yesterday, guys. So I've been trying to wear my running shoes more often. My mom got me these sandals, which are pretty great, but they, when I walk very far in them, like to the bus stop, they are like cutting in my feet a little. So I was like, I'll just be wearing my sneakers more, especially when I go to physical therapy. So, uh, but yesterday, so, but I have, the, they're pretty tight shoes that like, you know, tied pretty tight. So anyway, I was taking one off yesterday and whack hit my head and flew into my face. Uh, so that was fun. Um, let's see. Oh, also, um, a thing about the, okay. So, um, about the lumbar puncture. So it's on August 5th and, um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, also the awesome thing. Okay. I told you guys about the groups of people that are getting the drug you know, with the um, placebo and that. But apparently we have like two thirds chance to be getting the right drug, which is pretty amazing. Um, so again, I will do videos as soon as I get that appointment and my first um, yeah, injection or whatever it's called. Um, so, okay. Oh, also, Oh yeah, my PT. So I'm in PT. I have so many appointments now because I have to get six more rounds of my bladder, um, TPA, whatever it's called. So that is a long day because I have to take the bus there and take a cab to the rest of the way because there's no bus stop out by the urology office. So anyway, um, really long days, but it's worth it, you know, for that it's working and I can Yes, have my old bladder back. Let's see. Um, 
But anyways, and so I have urology appointments on Wednesdays, literally appointments every day now, um, including on Mondays, which was my day of not appointments, but there's PT I have to go two times a week, so that takes two days, and then I have my urology, I have my chiropractic appointments, and then counseling, so anyway, it's just kind of funny. Um, lots of appointments all of a sudden, but thankfully, like, even my PT and dentist uh, are all in the same plaza near me. Oops, I've got to put that over here, the cursor. Okay, um, so let's see. Yes, um, yeah, PT, yeah. So anyways, appointments every day. So, but thankfully, Tuesday and Thursday don't have appointments on them, except if I go to Denver to get the lumbar um, injection or whatever. Um, because, oh, gotta drink more coffee. I feel myself getting scratchy. Um, yes. Yes, because those appointments have been on Tuesday, um, hold on, now I have to check to make sure, hopefully it'll always be the same days, but it, you go down there on Tuesday night, and then the appointment is on Wednesday, but anyway, um, so anyway, lots of appointments for me, so I have to change, but thankfully, they should be okay for Tuesdays and Thursdays not having appointments. So um, I just, yes, have to get my runs in those days. Um, yeah, okay. Okay. I think that's everything. Oh, right, the PTs are getting for me. I think I talked to you guys before. I know I did about when I was um, walking, um, Oh, running and walking and like kicking my heel with my other, uh, kicking my ankle with my heel and it was really painful. It was like kept happening all of the time. So, oh, gotta drink some more. Okay. Um, yes. So that's what I'm working on with them is so I don't do that anymore. So I have exercises I have to do of like three times a day. Um, so, but it's kind of cool, one, one of them, because, um, it, you have to have, like, water bottles, and you're supposed to step between them and not knock them over, so it feels kind of fun to do the exercises, because I'm like, let's see how good I can do. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Okay. So, I think that's everything. Uh, oops, I forgot to get the devotion all out. Okay, and where are we at in chapter one? Okay, all right, we are on Love Heals Through Creation. The gift of creation, I'll do a paragraph. No, I can, I'll do two paragraphs for you guys, okay? Just because I like you and I don't have a poetry book anymore. So, all right, the gift of creation come to us, oh, the gifts of creation come to us in a million ways. It can take a lifetime of walking and considering to understand all the creation has to offer. The gifts can come in an international moment when we stop to smell the honeysuckle, or by surprise, we hear a song from a bird while sitting quietly on a beach. The gifts can come when we lift our heads up to the hills or dip our bodies in a river or a sigh, a sign of new life. From every animal that finds us, every flower that allows us to glimpse its blossom, Every cloud that inspires us, 
Creation's gifts are infinite if we open our eyes to see them. Make a point to find these healing gifts in your hope daily routines. When you wake up, instead of reaching for coffee or the internet, first simply listen and look. What do you hear and see? These things are a reminder of his presence of the living spirit of God right inside you, right beside you. When you feel frustrated at times, traffic and the busyness of the world around you, look and see again, listen again. Can you recognize something, something healing? right in your midst that brings you peace amid stress or a bit of joy and sorrow okay all right now to pray for you guys thank you jesus so much for um everybody in my life and especially the ones that talk truth to me and turn my heart soft towards you again jesus and i just Pray for each subscriber, Lord, that each one that clicks on this video, that they would just feel your love and hope in Jesus' name. There. Now you guys had a real whole video. So, all right. I will talk probably on, uh, yep, yeah, on the 5th, actually maybe the day after, but to let you guys know how it felt and if I'm okay and all of that because there could be side effects. So. Anyways, I'll talk when I have more to say. Have a blessed day. 